This is the favorite time of year. If you're a softball fan in the SEC, it is conference play time. Weekend one for the Georgia Bulldogs as they host a three-game set against Alabama. It'll be a top 15 matchup here in Athens this week. We've got it all for you right here. On Johnson will take first. 20 Florida State team. Bunted. Davis, oh. this will be a foul ball. There's a slow roller. Mosley will glove it from third to first for the out. Full count. This one's lifted up. We'll get out of the infield. Dallas Goodnight will find it in center. And that'll do it for Bam in the top half. We head to the bottom of the first. In that left-hand batter's box, 3-0 comes inside. It'll be a four-pitch walk to Lindy Ray Davis. And that's what that's what you want. That's a quality at bat for Georgia to start. She goes opposite field to right center for the home runs. This one's lifted to left. That ball is out of the glove. Davis rounds second. She's going to go to third. The throw will be to second. They're going to have Mosley had her paired up in a tag down. They don't throw over to first. She dives back into the bag safely. If she did, it probably wouldn't have gone over the fence, but it kind of had a downward angle a little bit. Oh, a liner double play. And a tough break there for Jada Kearney and out. And I think that's what's, you know, it's going to come down to a lot of, there's, the balls are going to be hit today. So how is the defense going to respond? Are they going to, you know, make errors? Are they going to make great plays? You just got to be ready for the stadium tonight. Jack Turner is packed out. Off the end of the bat, slow roller. The pitcher going to get to it. And she'll be safe. Georgia drives in the first run of the game. I imagine we will get a second look at that one as that one is a close play at the bag. Yeah, her to actually field that bunt and then get that ball over to first. Ooh. That's gonna be Further review, the ruling on the field has changed. The runner is out at first. Jen Senior from St. Joe, Illinois. Slow roller off the bat, Mosley. One away. A little bit too. Popped up. Mosley, two away. This ball is smoked to right field. That thing is gone. Kenley Kahalen drills it over the right field fence. Her second of the season. And Alabama strikes first in Athens. The one thing I see there, she's a lefty hitter. Her toes are on the line. So when you do that, you you essentially take away that inside pitch from Kerpix. So she's either going to hit you or she's going to, you know, put it over the white. And knowing that, if you're comfortable hitting that ball over the white, then that's what's going to happen. So line, and that's probably what she wanted, to be honest. Ground ball. This one will be taken by Digby. She'll step on the bag herself. But the inning highlighted with the second home run of the season for Kinlika Halen. Back to the pitcher. She'll zip that one to first. Yeah, you have a pitcher that's pitching. This one's sent to left center. Johnson. Tracks it down to away. This one is sent to left center. It'll drop a hard earned single for Ellie Armistead with two away. Swing and a miss, strike three. Armistead gets a two out single. She'll be stranded there. We've played two innings in Athens. To left. Chambly back to catch it, one away. But it doesn't mean stop throwing high balls, which is what she just did. And that's exactly what you want to do with a slavigate that a little bit sometimes. But at the end of the day, you can't do anything about it. So you just got to stay in there and compete. 
Four pitch wonk to Jenna Johnson. In any count. This could be a good count to do that. Throw to second. Not in time. Johnson will have her first stolen base of the season, but the one one. This one is sent to left into foul territory. Chambly on the warning track. She'll pull it in. Bama will strand another runner here as we head to the bottom of the third. B spot, 11 home runs. Here's Goodnight putting a bunt down. She's going to leg one out to first. I think that is her bread and butter. I think if she does that every time, I mean, you're looking at a very, very high percentage that she in with two strikes. A lot of people won't, but it would be surprising. Swing, throw down to second, and Goodnight's going to be taken out, stealing. Good play by the catcher. It was a lower pitch, and then she comes up strong with a strong throw, and it just. Ground ball back to the pitcher. Mosley on one pitch. She is out. And then Please, you got to be ready to do it. Defensive swing to first. Off the end of the bat into no man's land in right center. And Bailey Dowling has earned a single. Fielder. And that one hit her. This one is popped to right. Dallas Goodnight from center. She'll get it there and throw to third. Two away. Throw to second. Ball gets away. Backing it up. They'll go to third. And she gets in under the tag. I would imagine. Three one and the bases are loaded. Yeah, with the 3-1 count, I mean, there's no pressure on the hitter, especially in this situation with runners on. Like, put the pressure on the pitcher, make her pitch but more and more because they're not swinging at it yet. And if they do, it's been little dribblers in the, in the infield. Off the end of the bat, a slow roller underhand to second. That'll get Georgia out of the jam. Alabama. Just the timing of your swing is a little bit different. Blooped to second over the head of Hevelin. Fourth hit of the contest for something together here in the fourth. Outside. And that's a good quality at bat. You go 0 and 2 all the way back to a, a walk. Is you this is a perfect opportunity to put a bunt down. Oh, you just called that one beautifully. <laughs> the throw to first will take fields out on the sacrifice, but now two runners in scoring position yes. for Georgia and just one out. It's really important for Georgia to get something started here. Popped up. And Evelyn will take it two away. Hold in Athens. Sent to left center. That ball is out of here. That's a great at bat. Battle, battle, battle. And swing is something you like. Ellie Armistead pops the top off of Jack Turner Stadium. A three-run home run. And Georgia leads for the first time tonight. Ground ball was short. Around four, the out. But Georgia drives three runs in in the fourth inning off the bat of Ellie Armistead to left center. Georgia leads. Come out, it's like, dang. So I think this is a great opportunity and a great time to do that with the top of the lineup up. Foul territory sliding for it, Heaton. 
Hintrons comes in defensively and it seems. This ball is sent to right field. That ball off the foul pole, a home run. Gainley Evelyn came flying out of the batter's box, being able to slow the trot down as this one off the right field foul pole. And we've got a one run game in Athens. Again, I think you see that ball just a little over the white and that, you know, these hitters have already, you know, they've hit all game. So a ball over the white is nothing new to them. And so I think that that's where these pitchers have to understand is you really have to hit your spots really, really well later in the game. <laughs> when you're swinging at it, you know what I mean? So I think it's really important that we can create height difference in the pitches. So it, it changes the eye level of the batters. Two, two, this one's lifted to center. Giles flies out, that'll end the Alabama half of the fifth, the solo home run off the bat of Kaylee Hamlin. I do here. Liner to third. One out walk from Lindy Ray Davis. That'll bring of that throughout the entire game. And a Davila to pinch run at first. Mosley sends this one to the wall in left. Davila's going to get the green light. No throw. She scores standing. Mosley. When you're seeing it, you're seeing it. But again, you start that with a quality at bat, you get walked, you have another runner on, she scores from first, standing up. Jada Kearney back into the lineup. Two and one to Kuma, that one gets away, runner to third, everyone's gonna advance. She didn't have to burn. <laughs> Now the base is open for her. Bases are loaded. Way there. I, I did reach for my non-glove hand, though. So that's, that's weird. One, two, this one is sent to right field. The park will hold it, and coming over is White to make the catch. And an added girl, Jocelyn Brisky, comes. Our camera crew gave a good look back for Birmingham to make the call and fix the right call there at first base as the first pitch is popped up. <laughs> Bailey Dowling flies out to Chambly. Ground ball to short. Armistead, too hot to handle there and a little high. And Clark going to slide into second. She'll be aboard there as that one was high for Digby there at first. Well hit. This one to center on the run. Tailing back and a great catch there by Goodnight. She'll turn and throw back to second. Boy, that was a tough catch for Goodnight. Pulled in. Swing and a miss for strike three. Shelby Walters is fired up as she walks off the field. The single in the second, but then the three-run home run to bust this one open for Georgia back in the fourth, and she's going to be three for three as she sends this one over the head. He's, you know, NBP, very comfortable just swinging. Squared to bunt. The throw was at second for one to first, not in time. Yes, I was thinking the same thing. I think with her speed, it's almost automatic. Regardless of how close the infield is, you have to challenge them, and you still want to move runners. Packed house, here's a ground ball to short. The throw is at third for the lead runner. Two away now will remain first and second. And 
Pair of singles. Bouncer off the plate. Crossing in front of the shortstop. She'll get it over to Dukeshire at first. And that'll do it for Georgia here. 29 pitches now for Walters. She came in. Back of the fifth, there's another one. Get her time in this atmosphere, in this type of game. This one is blooped over the head of Kuma. She gave a good chase to it, couldn't get there. Her until the sixth. And ended up having a one hitter only, right? And that one's going to hit Kayla. Count even two and two. Lefty on righty matchup for the pitcher. Call strike three. Here one and two. One, two, swung on and missed for strike three. And now Georgia defeats Alabama in game one of this three-game set. And it's the first time Georgia's won one in the series since 2018. Good start to the weekend here for Georgia. It's a great start. That's a great game. I think there was a lot of good takeaways on both sides.